Hey, it's my Mario VR. I'm back at again with another review. So, let's talk about Sniper Elite VR. I want to get right into it. So, this game has been getting very mixed reviews uh, from the general VR community on Reddit and Steam and stuff like that. And let's talk about why. So, this game came out on the Oculus and Steam VR platforms uh, just yesterday, actually. So, this is, I think, the quickest I got a review or first impressions out because I have not finished the game yet. This is a, a pre warning. I have not finished the game. I'm currently working on it, but I feel like I played enough on I played enough of the game to get a decent first impressions out. So let's talk about what I liked about the game. First, the arcadeness of this game hits very well. So I played other Sniper Elite games and they seem to take on a more of a, a serious tone. And I'm kind of happy this one took on more of an arcadey tone uh, in terms of just the overall uh, mission structure and kind of how the gameplay works. So I really enjoyed the, arcade, the arcadeness of the game. Uh, it takes itself a little serious at some points, but it's not overwhelming or anything like that. Two, the weapon variety. So the weapon variety is pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. You get a bunch of World War II weapons. You know, it's sniper elite, so you know it's World War II era. And the weapons feel all great. They shoot well. They reload well. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is the weapon handling. So the pistols in this game. You have to one hand because if you, you if you put two hands on it, it's gonna like pull the uh, pull the magazine out or pull the uh, the to draw back on the pistol, and that's annoying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of hate that they didn't do dual handing because it makes aiming a lot much more of a chore than it actually is. So another thing that I liked about the weapons is that you can have custom loadouts for. Uh, whatever class you want to play. So if you want to play like the more of an uh, aggressive kind of, you know, sh kill them, shoot them up type <laughs> person, you can get like a uh, assault rifle and a pistol, grenades, all that stuff, a rocket launcher, whatever you want really. And you know, move on, you know, play the game that way. Another thing I like is the ability to approach missions in different ways. So this game, you can go either really loud, neutral, or you can take the stealthy route. So I like doing a stealthy route because I feel like it's more challenging. But honestly, some the one thing, and I'm gonna talk about this, some of the things I don't like, uh, it's hard to do stealth in this game. And I'm gonna explain why later, but I'll, I'll wrap right, right back around to that. But let's talk about the kill cam. So the kill cams are awesome because that's what Sniper Elite is known for. The uh, the first person, uh, not the first person, that's the third person uh, kill cam. So like seeing the bullet go through the enemy and you know shatter collarbones, hit the stomach, uh, heart, heart shots, all that stuff. I like that it does that in a really cool way. So when you shoot the enemy and you know it hits, from your POV, you see the enemy in front of you, like a 3D model of the enemy in front of you, and you can see the bullet go through it. It's, it's really cool, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's, it's one of those experiences that can only really be done in VR and then look as cool, because you can actually look around the guy and be like, oh, the bullet went through his, through his collarbone. It's, it's, it's really fun, I'm not gonna lie. But, now that we talked about kind of the general things that I do like, let's talk about what I don't like. And honestly, that list is a lot longer than what I actually did like. First things first. This game is obviously, is, is it so obvious? It's obviously a quest game because when you look at it, it looks like a high resolution quest game. And you're probably wondering, Marty, what does that mean? You know, uh, there's, there's some really good looking quest games. And I, you know, I didn't say that, but this game is it's obvious that it was made for the, the, the quest because when you look at some of the textures on the ground, they're blurry as hell. <laughs> and I mean crazy blurry, like uh, like PS2 level textures on the grounds and in the walls and some of the uh, finer things around the game. Another thing is it looks, okay, so the game looks good. I'm not gonna lie, but it can look better. When I, when, I, when I see a PC VR game or something that is for PC VR, I expect the graphic fidelity, the texture quality, and everything to be next level because it's PC VR. It's supposed to be uh, crossing the boundaries of graphical grade. Not supposed to be like photorealistic like uh, Half-Life Alex. I would have liked that though, but I'm more understanding it. this is their first VR game. I'm not expecting like Half-Life Alex or even even though I should, but I'm not expecting that type of the type of look to the game. So the only thing that kind of shocked me is that it feels like a lazy quest port in terms of the graphics. 
So if you're expecting like a Half-Life Alex, a Boneworks, or any other great uh, PC VR game, you're probably gonna hate this game. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You're probably gonna hate it. And that's a, that's a fair reason to not like the game because uh, I think when we all see, okay, this is gonna be on PC VR, we're expecting higher quality. Because most of us who have played on PC VR expect higher quality PC VR games. And uh, you would not be wrong with that, but let's move on. So another thing that, that blows my mind, and I don't know why this is a thing in this game, is that there's a weird hand slash a weapon offset. So like, you know, you when you're in a VR game, you're supposed to be able to like to actually track your hands in real time. So this game kind of sets your hands off a little bit. And it's kind of hard to explain. So imagine your hand is like right in front of you or something like that. Uh, in the game, it will be over to like the the right, like say your right hand is in front of you, right directly in front of you, like directly in the middle of your line of vision. Uh, in the game, it would be off to like a few inches or maybe like two two to four inches. And it's the weirdest thing ever because it doesn't really make any sense. I don't really get it. It makes aiming a little better sometime, but at the same time, I would be able to aim, you know, with it being, you know, right <laughs> so that's something i don't really understand why the game is like that and it's all honestly kind of strange but uh that's gonna throw a lot of people off it threw me off when i first started the game so i'm like why are my hands not synced up i, I don't know maybe maybe they just couldn't get around it when they were developing maybe it's a, an issue i don't know another thing i didn't like is the way that you grab things in the game so the grabbing is very inconsistent uh, in the game and honestly sometimes you can aim you, you literally have your hand pointing at something and try to grab it and it'll grab the thing next to it and that's that's annoying <laughs> that's crazy annoying maybe it's just me you know hey whatever but next thing is the ai so the ai in this game are either really good or really bad there's no in between so some ai are like next level superhuman nazi soldiers that just know what you're about to do and just kill you no, maybe maybe just me being a bad gamer, you know, so I'll chalk that one up to the game. But there were plenty of times where an AI shouldn't have seen me from where I was. And that's kind of the thing with stealth in VR games is that it's kind of finicky and you kind of just have to live with it. But it's, it's more annoying than <laughs> anything else. So be careful with the AI. Uh, sometimes they could be dumb as a bag of bricks or sometimes you get to the next level super Nazi soldier that you know you didn't see coming let's talk about the last thing attention detail is very off in this game there's not a lot of map interactivity uh going on like there's some things you can shoot something you can press to, to turn on and generate noise and stuff like that which is you know cool it's a sniper elite we expect that and but there's not a lot of things you can interact with like there's okay you can pick up guns you can pick up helmets uh i think scarves and stuff like that you know, the obviously thing I just said, you know, the things you can turn on, you know, interact with like that. But even like in other VR games, uh, there's like things around the map you can pick up and look at and, and throw and stuff like that. And there's not much of that in this game. Now, I'm not expecting like, like I said before, full interactivity like a Half-Life Alex or a Boneworks. But I'm like at least more things around the map that you can interact with, like hold, pick up and, you know, like do stuff with. There's not a lot of that in this game, which is kind of weird and that's why i say like i said before it feels like a quest game <laughs> it feels like they took the standalone quest game up the graphics made it compatible with steam vr said screw it <laughs> and so that's why like this game is a it's, it's just in a weird area with me because it's like i have fun playing it and it's a cool game but there is some very obvious flaws to in terms of the development that this game took at least the development route this game took and it's and it's kind of blaring i think a lot of people aren't gonna really like the game because of those sad things that i talked about but would i recommend this game that's a good question and honestly yes depending on what you're looking for so if you're looking for like a next level pc vr game that pushes the boundaries of fps shooters then you're gonna be disappointed because this is not it if you're looking for a decent arcadey quest game, then it hit the mark, but at what cost? And I think the cost of 
of this game being the way it is and the kind of trend that I've been seeing with these PC VR games kind of being more on the Quest side of development more than the PC VR side of development is that we get these lackluster games that are like fun, yeah, but they don't really push VR to the, they don't push VR game development to the next level. Even with larger budgets, it's like Sephiroth Elite is a large, that's a AAA game. Like they have four games that people actually bought, you know? So they have the money, the funds to, you know, push what we consider VR to be in terms of like gaming. And so it's kind of, it's kind of sad, you know, to kind of get this game that we've been looking, we've been waiting on this for a while, by the way, to get this game and it kind of be like, meh. Like, maybe I'll, I'll probably beat it and never touch it again, to be honest with you, if I do beat it. And I feel like a lot of people will probably feel the same way. Uh, maybe like a co-op mode could have saved, could have made this game better. Uh, there are like 26 levels. So there's a lot of levels to play around, which is good. But I don't know if they're thinking about adding a co-op mode. Maybe I just haven't seen that there's a co-op mode in the game. Because when I was playing, I kind of noticed that, okay, it's just, just straight campaign, story mode, nothing else. But now the next question is, is the quest certain PC VR? And I kind of want people to talk about that in the comments because I might make a certain video on that because I think that's a good question that people kind of have to ask themselves when we ask some more, or not me, I don't really ask more quest games, but when people ask some more quest games <laughs> being ported to PC VR, I think that's, that would be a good topic to have. And especially, especially a good topic to have in the comment section below. So that's the end of the first impression, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions for me, or if you just want to talk about VR, come on, join my Discord. You know, we have fun in there. I'm trying to get it, you know, more lively because I do want to have more VR friends. But join Discord. If you want to see more live games played, more live VR games played on Twitch, join me on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash VR. Uh, follow me on TikTok, same at. And follow the YouTube channel, man. Make sure you sub. We're going to put out more content. I'm trying to get better at this narration thing because I really want to provide excellent content for you guys. So it's been with Mardu VR again. Peace out.